Hi, in this video, finally, we test our link list data structure. So first of all, let's create a link list. We just have to instantiate it like this. And I would like to insert, for example, at the start. So insert start, and I would like to insert 12. Oh, sorry for that, okay. Then I would like to insert another item, for example, 122. Then I would like to insert, for example, 3. And I would like to insert, for example, 31. Okay, I would like to insert the 31 at the end of the list. So, okay, we insert it at the beginning. Then we insert this the beginning, so it's going to be the head then it's going to be the head and we insert the 31 to be the end of the list. So whenever we call the Travers list, it's going to yield 3, 122, 12 and 31. Okay, so let's save it and let's run our application. 3, 122, 12 and 31. What about the size? I would like to print or okay I would like to print out the link list dot size for example I think it's going to work just fine of course we should get 4 okay we have some error because object is not callable sorry for that we have the size return self dot size Okay, and the problem is going to be that I think we are not able to give the name size because this is a built-in name. So let's give the name size 1. If we use size 1, it's going to be fine. So let's see whether it's working fine or not. Yeah, it's working fine. So what's the conclusion? That don't use built-in method names. This size is a method in Python. Don't try to override it. Okay, sorry for that. So size 1 is going to be just fine and as you can see it's working correctly because 4 is the size of the list. Let's try to remove some items. So I would like to remove for example the 31. Basically I would like to remove all of these values. So I'm going to have the linked list that remove. I would like to remove for example 31. Then I would like to remove 12 then I would like to remove 122 and I would like to remove 3 at the end then I would like to call again the link list dot sorry for that print the link list dot size 1 and it should yield 0 so again I'm going to save it Let's run our application. Okay, as you can see, we have managed to get rid of all the items. After removing the items, and as you can see, this remove is working fine. We remove 31, so the last item. Then we remove 12, which is the first item. No, sorry for it, 12 is the last item again. Let's try to remove the first item, which is the 3 in this case. So let's try to remove 3 and for example 12 at the end or not 12, 31 at the end. Let's see whether it's working fine to remove the first item instead of the last item. Okay and it's working fine. At the end as you can see the size of the list is 0. So basically this is how we implement a link list and the conclusion is that why we like link list basically for this. Inserting at the beginning of the list is very fast. We can do it in order one constant time complexity. Okay, this is how we remove. What's very important that inserting at the end, we can do it, but it's not going to be very efficient because we have to scan through the whole link list, iterate through it, have to consider every single item in that list. So it's going to yield order one linear time complexity. Thanks for watching.